Hello everyone, Sekulator so here. I Welcome back. The master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Good thing. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Over here. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Well, let's go talk to some of our old friends. Dowager Queen Masadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. Oh, don't say things like that. That makes me we think of going to die. Nice champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, Champion. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have a bit, a bit more than Thunderjaws Thunder Jaws to worry about. Uh, is that a statue of me? That's... <laughs> New. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. <laughs> ah, King of Art, how are you doing? The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size covered in gold and jewels but I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that you were right I'm sorry Avad it's good to see you but I can't stay long I see I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time perhaps at the palace Meridian's still in danger but it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asuram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, oh, just like today, it is special because of the guest. <laughs> Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? Oh, no. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands, and has been held ever since. All right, fair enough. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. 
He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. Oh, this and is anyway, awkward. I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Oh, that's good. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Oof. Uh, Aloy will confront the challenge directly and Aloy will use the insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Aloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convi conviction. Ugh. Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us, it's not important. At least, not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. Oh. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Avad, you're a nice dude, but no. Goodbye, Eloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. Oh. I made my to toes curl, and not in a good way. Right. Am missing anything else? I've... You have already spoken to. Like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. You did well. Yeah, there you are. Who is that? She looks even stronger than the statue does. Hello. Don't go drink it all without me. Are they talking to me or just talking in general? Or those things to destroy. These are clearly the greatest threat in the game. So we take them out now, we won't have to deal with them later. Yeah, 
There we go. Threat destroyed. Meridian is safe. Savior, the orb remains untouched as per Blameless Murad's instructions. Uh, good. Yeah. The workbench. Hello, you take. Uthid, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've gotta go, go. With our blessing. Oh. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. <laughs> At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? <laughs> I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh? I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. <laughs> I like these two. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. You two are cute. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. <laughs> That's right, you live vicariously through Aloy. Alright, workbench. Let's do something productive. That was easy. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Resonator? Right, uh... Anyone else to talk about? Talk to here. Ah, uh, here we go. I now have points to spend. Right. Resonator skill. Here we go. First strike an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Then when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your target. Finally switch to a bow and shoot the enemy. Okay. That sounds fun. That one's done. Ah, there we go. The Slither Fang. Data points. Right. I hope all is well with you. Let's have a quick scout around, see if there's anyone else I can talk to. Oh. 
No, invisible wall. Am I confined to just this area? If an Osram is born with a hammer in their hand, what a card you're born with. A sundial? Sure. So no one else to talk to. All right then. Yeah, I'll take those. Ah, can I make some stuff yet? Uh, when throwing rocks, okay. Yes. Oh, I can make one bomb. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anyone anyone else here to talk to. Um, not even my Osram friend seems to be here. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, it's kind of worth exploring to get all the gear. I don't think there's anyone else here to talk to. Let's press on then. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Very smart. Yeah, thought as much.
Bloody hell, we've only, <laughs> we've only just got to the opening titles. Oh, this is a gorgeous looking game. Interesting how they're no longer attacking. Have we just like subdued the machines in this area? Remember all these locations. There we go. Horizon 2 Forbidden West. Sparks to steel. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no nonsense, Aloy. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Reach the door. But not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. 
Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. What's that green rock? You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent, exposed to attack. I might have died. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, me, you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? That's it, that was it, Erend. Action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. <laughs> 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 yeah, they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Oh, I love Aloy. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun... <laughs> Trust me. Awesome. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Yeah, we definitely need to get some of our uh, additional arrow arrows back up. To this. Well, a short scroll of parchment with an official seal. By mandate of Commander Nozar, all residents of the Daunt are herewith informed of the following. The gates between Baron Light and No Man's Land are hereby ordered shut and sealed in expectation of the imminent embassy. None are allowed passage either way until further notice. No exceptions will be made regardless of clan, house or tribe. Based on previous grievances and misunderstandings, let it be clear that no exceptions will be made for the Osirum either. Any outstanding arrangements made uh, pertaining to passage are hereby declared postponed or void depending on the nature and timing of the arrangement. No exceptions will be made. Again, to eliminate any doubts should they remain, all of the above pertains to the Osirum regardless of circumstances, excuses or so-called binding contract. Any complaints and or uh, restitutions if at all applicable, can be addressed to Captain Luan. 
my second in command. Signed in the light of the sun, Norza Erin Uferman, commander of the Baron Light. Well, he sounds delightful. And you know what? I think. No, actually, no, we'll push on a bit further. In there. Take this to a dyer later. Ooh, dyer. I could change the colour of things. I like that. Ah, here we go. Campfires. Get a quick save in. Right. Well, that'll make climbing up mountains a lot easier if there's a few of those going around. Borrowers. Machine doesn't like fire. All right. No, 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 no. All right, let's go. We'll go here first. Yeah, because. Upgrading my arrows should be the priority. Hello. Alright, so I'm definitely still going to have to climb some mountains. I can't just uh, use the pull cast on all of them. I quite like the fact that the places where I can climb are less obvious than, than they were in the uh, previous game. Purple. Ends of morning. No shaped piece of glass that uh, reflects light recovered from a Kanja signal tower northeast of Chainscape. Okay. I don't think I can get past them. Guess I should leave it for now. Not much I can do about those vines for now. 
Oh, okay. More metal flowers to collect. But something about these vines that I need to deal with. Okay. Okay, I, I was completely off track there. Let's, yeah. Right, so that's where I need to be going. It. Chains going there. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Hope this tastes as good as it looks. Probably not. Right, I've seen a few of these shiny green rocks. What is this all about? Found a piece of green shine around valuable resource hidden all over the world. Green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Ah, kind of like the blue gem with uh, oh god, what was the name of that tribe? Ones that lived on the frozen mountain, the Banuk. Want to come in, Savior? Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. <laughs> By the forge. Oh, hello, Petra. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I... keep moving. Ah. Of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. you. Gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Ah, social awkwardness. I know it well. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Anyone see where I put my drink? What? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> workbench is free if you need to tinker with that gear. Okay. Why is it? Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Yeah. Right, fair enough. Right, weapon upgrades. Let's... Oh, here we go. Bow. Ow. 
Acid Hunter, yes. Hmm. Where does the second one get me? What about the frost one? Can I upgrade you? Yeah, why not? Weapon sets improved. Oh, I can still upgrade my bow one more time. There we go. Outfit upgrades. Yep. Nice. Do couch upgrades. Not enough resources. Squirrel hunt. Oh yeah, need to do some hunting. Continue the story to discover these items. All right. Uh, an ammo that deals acid is now available in your inventory. You should focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to acid. Hitting enemies with acid will build build up to the corroding state. Once in this state, an enemy's armor takes damage over time and is and has reduced damage resistance. Shoot acid canisters with acid arrows to detonate them and trigger large elemental explosion. This should be useful. Yeah. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. In melee pit. All right. Cool. All right. Go, let's go to this campfire. It's, okay. That was easy. Easy boys. And I will end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.